What's good, y'all? It's Akira here, back with another video. Guys, I've been working so hard, so I decided to have a girls' night, and I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money, so I decided to go ahead and go thrifting and go to the Dollar Tree and upcycle some items to make a beautiful Pinterest-worthy girls' night for me and my friends. So I was able to come up with this beautiful setup, as you see here on the screen, um, using my Cricut. I want to show you guys how I made everything, how you can do this too, and how easy and fun it is to set up uh, a girls' night or a party night or whatever using your Cricut. Okay guys, so I got a few items from the thrift store and from the Dollar Tree to upcycle. I'll let you know where I got what from. But all in on the items, I spent less than $30. And with the help of my Cricut, I'm gonna customize these things from wine bottles. And as you can see here, this whole setup was made with my Cricut. Now today's video is sponsored by Cricut and I'm gonna show you how I created these items in design space using Cricut images was able to easily and quickly put these items together to get ready for my girls night so let's get into it and the first thing I'm going to show you which is my favorite and which I think is the most just unique thing out of all of them is how I decorated my wine bottle so let's get into that I went ahead and made a new screen in design space and I went ahead and went to the decorative elements now this is where the patterns lie they have so many great patterns that you can choose from that you can just drag and drop it to make your item so I scrolled through there was tons of different patterns that I really enjoyed but ultimately I went with this mid-century type pattern that you see here um, it is so beautiful and it came out so well onto the wine bottle. Now, what I did from here is because the wine bottle is about, the, the usable space was about seven inches. So I went ahead and made and sized the pattern accordingly. And then I just did a, a command C, command V, which is the copy and paste. And I made sure that I made two rows of this. Um, and I also used my, um, smart vinyl so that I didn't have to use any mask for this and I resize it so that it could go to the maximum length which is 12 inches and then I hit make it I went ahead and sent it over to my Cricut and I'll show you how to apply it from here I went ahead and just weeded my smart vinyl which it weeded like butter you can see I didn't even really need the tools just to really get it started then I was able to lightly just pull off the backing um, from the the pulled the vinyl from the backing <laughs> from there as you guys can see that was such an easy thing I went ahead and I did use transfer tape on top of this pattern in order to make it easy to apply to the and wine just bottle. a quick tip if you want to go ahead and remove the labels from the wine bottle it really just takes some baking soda and hot water and it can come off easily in about five minutes from here, as you can see that I'm applying the vinyl in kind of a rolling fashion. I didn't know how to necessarily attack this because that's not something I've done before, but it was extremely easy. With my tool, I was able to go ahead and flatten the vinyl on to the bottle. It did take a few times, and that's only because there was a little bit of sticky residue still left on the bottle. Um, but once I got everything to stick, it was a super seamless process. As you can see, I just kind of went ahead and removed the transfer tape and made sure that each individual star or diamond shape was sticking so that the pattern would be seamless as you can see the top piece and the bottom piece was a little bit too wide for the bottle but I did this intentionally so that I made sure I could cover as much area as possible while applying the vinyl to the wine bottle what I love about this project is now this is no longer a single use bottle. You can go ahead and just refill it at any time, keep it on your bar cart or wherever you store your wine. And it has a beautiful look, especially for a girl's night in. And it just came out wonderful and it was a super simple project to complete. Okay guys, so I got the wine bottle together and I just wanted to make a little sign and also some custom shot glasses to put on my kind of ladies night table so when people come in that's the first thing they see and is 
beautifully decorated Pinterest and picture worthy so that people are like, oh, look at how great Akira's house is. We had so much fun here. <laughs> so let's get into how I made those two things. And at the end, I'll show you how I put everything together for this fun girls night. I forgot to mention I made some lovely napkins. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how I made these. I went ahead and wanted to do something love inspired because we're so close to Valentine's Day. And this love heart I thought looked so good with the font that I'm gonna be using for the sign. So I just jumped on it and made some napkins. Now this project is super easy to do. All I did was resize these love hearts um, to a good size so I could put them on the corner of the napkin. So I did about one and a half or two and a half inches per love sign. I went ahead and made duplicates of this on Design Space and I went and cut them out. I'm going to show you how easy it is to go ahead and apply these and make tons of napkins in under a few minutes. So I got a pack of these napkins from the Dollar Tree. They were $30 for $1.25. Um, and I used my favorite, which is heat transfer iron-on foil vinyl. Um, I went ahead and found where I wanted to place the love heart onto the napkin. Now I did these with my mini press and I use it on the third heat setting, the highest setting, to do this easily and quickly without using a big press. Um, I literally pressed these on for about five seconds each and did a hot peel on them and you see how easy and how quickly you can make a ton of these napkins. I ended up making about 15 napkins and it took me under 10 minutes as you can see how quickly you go ahead and apply the heat transfer vinyl with my mini press and hot peel remove it and it comes out perfect every time. Now on to the sign. So I wanted to make my own custom sign to say, let the party begin. Um, so I went ahead and just typed out that message and I found a font that I liked. A little quick Cricut hack or design space hack is if you wanna test out different fonts, I just click on every font that I'm interested in. Then I hit the back button to see which font I like the best. You can either go forward or backward if you like another one better than the other, instead of clicking through, waiting and clicking back through. Now, especially when you're using a clear background, it's really good to add an offset to your font so it really stands out and doesn't get lost on like the clear background because sometimes it's a little bit harder to read. So I did went ahead and just played with the weights of my offset. I did go ahead and add the offset to the font and then use permanent vinyl to go ahead and cut that out. And I'll show you how I applied it onto the, the acrylic sign that I got from the thrift store, which was $1.49. So here's my clear stand that I got from the thrift store. It was $1.49. I'll link some similar similar ones down below if you want to make something like this. Um, but I thought this was a great budget-friendly way to make a sign. Now I'm going to show you how I apply the vinyl. So here I am going ahead and layering the letters. As you can see, I cut out my offset in white. And I cut out my letters in pink permanent vinyl. Um, I did permanent vinyl because I wanted to keep the sign. If you want to reuse your sign, you can always use removable and make it, you know, make it that way so you can take the letters on and off. But I did cut them out individually um, because I wanted to place the letters individually on the sign. So I'll go ahead and show you that, that next. So I went ahead and placed the letters on with my transfer tape. Now I did end up only using the let in the begin from the initial um, design that I made in design space because I made them a little bit too big. Um, so I didn't just went in with a different cursive font to put the party in between the let and the begin. But here as you can see, I'm just applying the already previously lettered layered text onto the sign this was so fun and so easy to do and I love how this came out and this was some people's favorite part of my whole girls night setup Uh, last but not least are the shot glasses. So I just typed in sparkle um, in design space on the images and found sparkles that I liked. I went ahead and just made like a small pattern with them so I would have different types of sparkles to add on to the shot glasses. Now I did go ahead and just copy these and paste them and then make a few rows of them and then combined them or welded them together so they would cut out all on one sheet. From here I used permanent glitter vinyl um, to go ahead and add these to the shot glasses and let me show you that. 
Now I did pick out a very delicate shape <laughs> to put on these shot glasses. So I did go ahead and just weave the images and I got all these little sparkles. Um, what you can see here is I then went ahead and cut out each individual sparkle after I put the transfer tape on it just to make it easier to place them individually. And then I went ahead and just individually paste them on the shot glasses. It was super easy to do and super fun and only took a few minutes. And here's how they turned out. I think they look so beautiful. You can do these again with these dollar 25 shot glasses. You get three in a pack. And you can even do this with scrap vinyl. If you have a little bit of vinyl laying around, this would be the perfect project for something like that. And last but not least, I just got these other items from the Dollar Tree, um, some flowers in this bucket and some floral foam. I just folded all the flowers on, at the bottom so I could reuse them. But I made this nice little floral arrangement just to add to my overall um, girls night bar card or drink station or whatever you want to call it. Just to give it that more fabulous look. And guys, now I'm going to show you the final result and how it all turned out. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, it was nice to come and take you guys into a little bit of my personal life and show you a girls night at my house using all items that I made with Cricut. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed this content. Let me know down below if you're going to make any of these things, if you had made any of these things, and if you'd like to come to a girls night at my house. <laughs> Alright guys, well thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.